Hey YouTube, what is going on, you straight beautiful guardians? It is Mesa Sean, sick as a dog, but back at it with some destiny. I appreciate you guys saying get well because I sounded like complete horseshit in this other video today. But got a new raid toy last night, the Hunger of Crota. God, that hurts my voice. And uh, got this from beating Crota last night. And you guys know me, I don't do any reviews unless I at least have it fully maxed or close to it. So I got it pretty much all the way maxed. Everything unlocked except for the last three damage mods because I don't have enough radiant energy. So hopefully I'll get more tonight because I'm doing the raid again two more times tonight. God, it is so much fun. Now, I just jumped into PvP just to get a few clips. I mean, guys, I hate noob tubing. I only do it if I have to get, like, if I'm done with all my bounties and the only thing that's left is that, like, uh, 15 kills with a noob tube, then I'll do it. But this is definitely way more of a PvE type of rocket launcher. I don't know why I, I threw these clips in here. I got some really cool clips with this gun, my uh, Light of the Abyss, and also, oh, God, I love this shotgun I got. It's called uh, Two in the Morgue. I got the drop version of it. And I was going to do a full review on it, but you know what, guys? You guys asked me or um, responded to my comments, and... The Zer video, if you want me to do um, kind of a roundup video of all my characters and all this cool stuff. I got a ton of uh, raid gear, uh, legendary, new DLC legendaries, legendary guns, blah, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll go through that this weekend and make just kind of like a compilation video. I, I, again, I'm always paranoid of spamming your sub boxes and I'm the king of killing multiple birds at one stone. So now I hopefully can add myself to the DPS squad for Crota because whenever we do it, I'm the uh, designated left sniper. So I'm watching the two knights that are above Crota. So keep an eye on them. Try not to kill them. And as soon as uh, our swordsman, clawman, goes in for the uh, hacking of uh, Crota, no cheesing on this channel. I don't cheese. I didn't even look at those things. I just play the game. It's supposed to be played. They're going to patch the, that shit anyway. But uh, yeah, I think now, uh, because they're all using Galahorns. And this kind of, well, I don't have a Galahorn, of course, but I was told that this thing is kind of like the legendary or semi-equivalent of the Galahorn, but I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments section, because I don't have one. Maybe the RNG gods will bless me and give me one. Let's go into the menu and see what I unlocked. I unlocked everything up until the last few damage mods. So now, I'm not well steeped in uh, noob tube knowledge, but anyway, very uh, big blast radius, very, very fast, high velocity. It's pretty stable, reload. Fire rate's pretty slow, though. So the two key mods are uh, shells fired from this weapon. They're going to track the targets, and then it creates a cluster bomb when they do detonate. So I guess that's similar to a la Gallahorn. You guys tell me. So now for the first couple of upgrades, I'm going to go with the uh, linear compensator so I can get a, just a little bit of boost to the velocity and then also the uh, blast radius. So I don't really mess with the other two. Next one is the tracking. So shells fired from this weapon get to track the targets. That's the money right there. Then out of these, you can go with either javelin or um, heavy payload. So you can increase the blast radius or you can increase how fast you want it to shoot. So I, right now, I'm just going with heavy payload. Then the next upgrade is going to be the cluster bombs. So very, very effective for all PvE type situations. And of course, probably PvP if you're one of those types of people. Noob tubes, not a fan of. Then you got Hive Disruptor, so increased damage to Hive Major. So again, you're seeing the common theme here. All of these uh, raid type weapons are catering themselves to the Dark Below and to the raid. So you can see here, I just need some Radiant Energy. So hopefully I'll get a bunch tonight because we're doing a full raid and then also just a Crota's End. I got a checkpoint for Crota tonight. So, you pretty much, guys, I don't really, again, I don't have much experience with, with rocket launchers. I, I'm just such an LMG whore, or as Clawman calls them, HMGs. Who calls them heavy machine guns? Come on, the light machine guns. Um, I'm so used to using my swarm. I got two swarms. I got an arc swarm and then a solar swarm. My beloved zombie apocalypse void. And then also, what else do I use? I got a new one. I don't know. It's a DLC one. You know, I'll go over it with my, um, when I go through my classes this weekend. But, yeah, it's really, really fun. Very, very effective. Doesn't really, I mean, it's. It's got a very slow fire rate. That's the only problem with it. So you don't want to use this thing when you're in a bind or anything. But the re the fast reload kind of makes up for it. And in fact that it's solar damage. Which really helps out with the uh, pesky wizards and witches, whatever, with their solar shield. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. So uh, let me know what you think. Have you guys gotten any raid weapons so far? Are you guys enjoying Crotazan? I definitely am. So hope you guys are playing it too. And uh, that's it. So drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream. Links will be in the description. And that is it. You stay gorgeous, Guardians.